Hello guys and girls, Foxy Raven TV here with another Fallout 76 video. So I just uploaded my, well, beginner friendly melee guide and uh, specifically I'm using the chainsaw on this build here. This is a alt character that I'm using something like this here. And I will be showing you in this video where you can get your hands on your chainsaws because they will be spawning out in the open. And I will also be showing you where you can get the flaming mod here. So first of all, we are here at the Ranger District. And this is the first location that I will, well, be showing you. And uh, we will just be running in here, inside of the fence here. If you want to, you can kill the Scorch here. You don't need to, but you can do that for sure if you want to. And, the, and then we'll get, get inside here. The, and because I looted this one recently, it's not here though. But it should be up here in this box here. Up up here. Come on, get into first person. There we go. It should be laying up here if you can get it. Uh, and uh, yeah, you might... Uh, this is private world of course, but if you're in a public world, you might not be lucky because someone else might have collected it. But that is the first location here. The second location is at Crimson Prospect here. And that takes too long, so we will just be sprinting over there because it's just around the corner. So you don't even need to teleport over there. Let's just kill the Scott here. Boom. There we go. Also you. There you go. This weapon is insanely OP in my opinion. Not in my opinion, really. It is OP. This is one of the best, if not the best, melee weapon that you can easily get your hands on. Oh yeah, and also, do not spawn in around the area, because when you spawn, when you load into a world, you will load in as level 1. If you do that, the chainsaw will spawn as level 20, level 30, or level 40. It will not spawn at level 50 as a level 50 weapon, and you want a level 50 chainsaw for sure. Unless, of course, you are l around level 20, then you can actually do that as well. The second location is here. And again, it's not here because I collected it within 24 hours. So I have been collecting a few of these. I have not been collecting all of these. Um, so there will be some that I can show for sure. Come on. So many, so many. That's the dark uh, explosion. Boom. So yeah, that is another location. I will also spawn a stealth bar here. So you can get a chainsaw and a stealth bar for sure. It will spawn right on this shelf here. So that is uh, another location. Now let's see when danger. Ugh. Come on. Are you for sure you want to do this? I mean, come on. Let's see if we can get over here. So, the third location is actually a tricky one. And hopefully we can get over there before we get hit. Come on. This location, though, I will show you here, is a tricky one. Because you need to do a side quest and get a key in order to get into this. But we can actually exploit this a little and i will say a little because it is technically technically an exploit but uh, i don't see it as much because it is whatever really but we will get in here then what what you need to do is just go up here go into this door get up of these stairs here then open this door then you will see this guy here, Herbert, and uh, this lady over here, the Juliet. And then you will walk down the stairs here. And as you can see, inaccessible. What you can do is you can get close to it, then crouch, then go out into photo mode. Then make sure that is not a good spot here. There we go, better spot. Photo mode here, get in here, then get in close here, and then you can do that. Look, we're inside of this area now. And as you can see, there is definitely a chainsaw right here on this shelf. So we will be picking that up. 
And then you can collect whatever you want to collect inside of this room as well. And uh, yeah, that is the third location. And let's just see here. So it's at level 50, as you can see, because we did not spawn in close to it. And yeah, that is that. So let's go on to the fourth location. And this one is also a tricky one, but we will be doing the top of the world. We will teleport here. If you can't do that, see if you can teleport to uh, Pleasant Valley Station or something close here. But we'll be doing the top of the world. Spawn in here. And we need to walk a little here. <clears throat> there we go. What we need to do, I'll go into a third person, it's more easy to see here. What we'll do is just, if you're in power armor, you can jump down here. If you're not, you have to walk down the path here. But we are in power armor, so we do not care. There we go. But you will walk down the path here. Then just keep walking down here until you reach uh, these these uh, uh, what are the uh, cards here, whatever, and uh, for the ski line, the lane, whatever. There's not much snow here. Then we'll walk down to the sign here, and then continue to walk down here, and then you will see this uh, windmill or whatever it is. I think it's a windmill. Then just walk down the right side of it, and then you will see the tires. Then walk down the path here, and then continue till you see this you can die sign. And then you just continue and walk down here. Then you will see this cliff here. And as you can see, down there, right there, there is a scavenger. And you need to jump down there. Oh, go. And there we go. Look at that. There's chainsaw number two. So this is the fourth location. And let's see. Level oh, this is only level 20. So something happened here. Something weird happened here. So as you can see, this is only level 20. But it's alright because you can scrap this one. And you need to scrap chainsaws in order to, to, to get the dual bar. So the dual bar is, is like this. You can see there's a two two bars here, so it also says dual bar. So there's two chainsaws besides each other. There's not on this one here, there's only a single. And also on this one, there's only a single. So you need to scrap these in order to get the dual bar. We'll be heading over to the fifth and final location, and it is at Metal Doom. So there will be a event spawning here as well, so you should be able to get this location pretty pretty fast when we load into the area here we will spawn here what we need to do is just walk down here then turn right here then just continue just walk under or over this area here this hut or whatever you will call it and then we'll get to this area then we will turn right inside here and the chainsaw should spawn right here. And there's no chainsaw here because I already collected it within 24 hours. But it will it will spawn right here. So you can see the metal loom down there and it will spawn right here. So where do we get the flaming mud? You will actually get down down at Vatoka station. So if you port down to Vatoka station you will go into the vendor inside of the train station and you can actually buy the flaming mod for the chainsaw. And you can do, I mean, it costs you like, is it 50 or something caps? I, I, I can't remember, we'll see. But it is, it is fairly cheap. It is cheap, cheap, cheap. So we will walk up here and into the train station here. And trade here. Then we will go over to mods here. And as you can see, oh, you can even buy. That is a that is not a a common uh, drop though. I have to say that normally you will see the chainsaw 
flamer and the and the long bow bar, but you also have the dual bar apparently now. At least a chance for it, it seems like. So I will be getting that and selling that for sure. And then we'll go to the Wetsoka shopping plaza, as you can also get the flaming mod up there. Now we're spawning in here, then we'll just walk inside here and trade with Phoenix here and Mutz. Uh, he has a dual bar as well. Is this now, now normal? Do they sell dual? It seems like they're selling dual bars, guys and girls. So you don't even need to scrap your, your chainsaws anymore. You can actually get them here. Holy smoke, I did not know this. So yeah. You don't need to scrap your chainsaws anymore. But let's get down to my turret kill base here. Let's connect, collect some stuff here while we wait. There we go. Do 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 do. So yeah, the uh, the build will be up a few hours before this build. Um, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can do an hour between them. Um, so yeah. Make sure to watch the, the actual build guide for this weapon here. And, uh, and also, yeah, the build in general. Not only for this one, but for two-handed. So what you... What you needed to do before is actually to scrap your chainsaws. In order to get lucky to get the dual bar or the the long bar so I'll get out of my power armor here and then I will modify and repair so what we can do here is we can repair this one then we can go inside here and then we can of course put legendary mods on it I don't have four modules right now uh, but I think I can get that anywho so you have the bow bar here as you can see this is this is a bow bar uh, armor piercing and so on, but it it's the f less superior one. The dual bar is actually what you need to do. Look at the damage difference here, that is insane. So the dual bar. Now we have the dual bar on. There we go. Now we take the mod here and look look at the damage now. Now it is even even higher and also you have flame flaming damage on it. Look at that look at that damage now. That is insane. So yeah, now you have a flaming chainsaw. And I think... I actually think... Let's go into power armor here again. Because I do not have carry weight on me to teleport. Unless I'm in here. So, there we go. Just put in this here. And yeah. So what we'll, we'll do, we'll go to the rusty pick. I actually think I have enough so I can craft legendary mods on it so you can see what you can get here so what you need to do is is you need to script your uh, your legendaries you don't need you can you can script this uh, inside of this one here so if you if you have room I actually have a little here I can do here so we have a weapon here uh, one star gomer here and then we put it inside here then we get five points because it's a one star there we go I don't think I have any armors here that is... No. I don't think I do. No, 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 no. So, we'll get over here. Then we will buy the legendary module. We have for one here. And then we actually have four in total, I think. So we can get down here. Go outside of the power armor here. Go. Go over to the weapon. Workbench here. And then we can actually craft... And let's cross our fingers. I actually want a vampires. Come on. No, that is a hunter flaming chainsaw. So this one is doing 50% more damage to animals. Reflect 50% of melee damage back, back while blocking one in strength. This is not the best one, but it is totally, totally usable. It is not a problem. You can use this on any anything really they are just so op strong and uh, yeah they are all powered indeed 
They are so, so strong. So it doesn't really matter. You can do this without any legendary uh, modules on it for sure. So, yeah, there you have it, guys and girls. Locations where to get the chainsaw and also the mods. And apparently it seems like you can get the dual bar now down at Vatoga Station and at Vatoga Shopping Plaza. So, yeah. Anywho, take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.